You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. A little bit of LSU football news today. Uh, we did find out the day, time, and network for the 2024 football season opener. You know LSU is going to open up 2023 in Orlando against Florida State, but next year, 2024, the Tigers open up with the Vegas kickoff classic. Vegas, baby, Vegas! Yeah! You know what? Give me more Vegas, Muse. I'm in the mood. Give me some Elvis. Give me a little Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas! Yeah. You know what I really hope happens? What's that? Hope the program director sends us to Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas! I mean, someone should put a bug in his ear. Somebody should. Let him know that uh, there are people willing and able to go out to the desert to do some broadcasts and hang out in Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas! Pauly, you want to go to Vegas? My, my hand's in the air. Yeah, I'll go. Ah! Well, Pauly, if you go to Vegas, who's going to produce the show back here? They can do it. Huh? They can do it. Who can? Jake. The guy sitting next to me. Oh, Beck! Yeah. All right, we can't say Jake. Jake is on Jake the morning up. show. Well, Jake yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got to say Beck. And he's digging gotta... this song right now, by the way. Huh? I said, and it's probably digging oh, this song, he, by yes, the way. Jake has to. Yes. Uh, he is Jacob Beck. He's got to be Beck, right? He's got to be branded as Beck here. Otherwise, okay, yeah. the, the Jake thing is too confusing. Uh, that's Jacob Beck, by the way. Um, yeah, so Paulie wants to go. Uh, Muse, do you want to go? Absolutely. Yeah, you don't get to go. Paulie, uh, you can what? come. Paulie, should Paulie. Like, I mean, should we let Muse come? We'll think about it. Nah, I mean, look, somebody's got to stay back and run things here. You know what I mean? Sure. Well, uh, well look, let me just take a note for the program director here. I'm sorry, Paulie wants to go. Muse wants to go. Although, Muse, don't hold your breath, bro. It's, uh, you know, mm. I, don't, I don't know that, that I'd really... I, That's look, tough. Some, That's a tough scene. Somebody's got to stay back and... We got people who could do that. You know, we got plenty of people who could do that. Monitor, man the home front. Let's see. Okay, I'm making notes. So whenever the next time I meet with the PD, we'll see if we can get this uh, this taken care of. So, by the way, they're going to play at 6.30 p.m. Central on Sunday, September the 1st. Why are you rolling your eyes? Maybe three Sunday kickoffs in a row, yes, man. it will be, and I don't care. And the game will be on ABC. Here's why this is relevant. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely. Yeah, we had said yeah, restart. For, yeah, for sure, for sure. Give me another Vegas drop, Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas! I mean, I've been begging for the Las Vegas Bowl to play a crappy Pac-12 school. This is actually like USC, yeah. Lincoln Riley. You know what else is good about it? Caleb Williams is gonna be gone. Yeah, he they're, will not play in the game. They're gonna. Well, so LSU is gonna be breaking in a new quarterback. Nussbus so could, could very well be Nussbus, but. LSU, USC will both be breaking in new quarterbacks as Jaden Daniels and uh, Caleb Williams will be off the pros next year. But Allegiant Stadium, gorgeous. Las Vegas in September. The Otter's going to be in his element. Broadcasts there on the strip. I am so ready for all of it. Like, fill my soul with all of this. But remember, 2024 is the first year that... Oklahoma and Texas are in the league. And more importantly... Uh, uh, new SEC schedule? I don't... Yeah. 2024 is the first year that ESPN takes over all oh, that's true. of the broadcast rights. So they don't have to wait for CBS to see, okay, well, let's wait for the, the pick them and go in order and see what game is left for us to take. They know it already. They can do it as they're going to do whatever you want with it. ABC. Let's go. Expanded playoff, ABC, too. ABC, 6.30 on September the 1st, Sunday. I know you rolled your eyes about the Sunday thing. Yeah. Everybody's off work on Monday. I know. And LSU is going to play some crappy FCS school on, on the next week. I don't, do we know who it is yet? I haven't uh, looked at I haven't looked it far enough. It doesn't enough. matter. Do me a favor I mean, and look it up. I want to see who they have on the schedule for 2024 because it's probably what's going to happen there in that second week like they did this year when they played Southern. But the, the point is... The opening weekend has become fantastic. You get so many of these kickoff classics, so many good games and all that stuff. 
When oh. you what? Who is it? It's UCLA. No, they're not playing the second week. Saturday, September 21st. That's what it says. So it's not the next week because this game is September 1st. That's, that's oh, okay. three weeks later. So so they need they need something. There, there's going to be two games in between. They so, already have four non-conference games scheduled. So who are the other two? South Alabama and Rice. They're all scheduled I'll for September you, games. I'll bet you for September. September 28th, South Alabama. September 29th, Rice. So they're back to back Well, you said there. 28th and 29th. Well, that's what they have here. That's so wrong. they're going to move one of those. September Probably 28th Rice. and September the 29th. Uh, that would be back-to-back days of playing football. Where are you looking? At LSUsports.net? They just have to move that, obviously. That, that's okay, we don't need Viva Las Vegas anymore. Oh, man. I was in the moment, it's, man. I was feeling it. Like four, I, four times is, is is enough. It wasn't four <laughs> times. It was like two. It it's was just a it, long song. It was at least three. Um, okay. So point being, they're going to play they will move one of those games up so that after they play on that Sunday, they're not gonna play in the desert on Sunday and then on a short week come home and play an SEC game. It's not gonna happen. So LSU will play Sunday, September the 1st, they'll come home and they'll play some crappy FCS school, I'm sure, if 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 they're still playing FCS opponents. Because that's the other caveat. That's what I was just about to ask is Because if they go to a nine-game schedule, the game that's going to be eliminated is going to be the FCS game. So LSU's already got four non-conference games for 2024. You're going to play USC and UCLA. You play UCLA later in September in Baton Rouge. But you want to make sure that you fill probably your – certainly one of your other non-conference games the week after you play USC. But that means then you probably go SEC game before you play UCLA. So load it up. But it's the benefit of a it's the benefit of an expanded playoff because you can see more of these games. You can see more of these games without the threat of it ruining your your season and your opportunity to win a championship. I and I know you say, well every week matters, but every week doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, right now, you can load up your schedule with crap games that nobody wants to see. Give me... Th- like, you're going to tell me you'd rather watch LSU play... What did you say it was? You, uh, you South Alabama South and South Alabama else? and Rice. You'd rather two. see LSU play South... And by the way, Muse, it's so funny that you're at, you're at LSUsports.net. Yeah. LSUsports.net has it wrong. Um, future uh, foot FBS, FBSchedules.com actually has it right here. So LSU plays USC on September the 1st, and then they're home against Rice on the 7th. Oof, tough scene there. And then they play, then they will have an SEC game. And then they'll play UCLA on the 21st, and then South Alabama on the 28th. So you're going to have to go USC. They're gonna, they're gonna play five September games. Well, do you think? Do you, you mentioned getting rid of the FCS or Rice in this this case? I don't think they're, that September fourteenth is going to be the open date. Well, no, I know that we, it we could know be, where, but we know where the open day is going to be probably, but not probably. We do know where it's going to be. Do you think there's a chance if they, they play Alabama? Every do you year? think there's a chance they ditch the UCLA game because that would give them ten Power no. Five games? You don't no. think there's any chance? No, they're going to get the return trip, and that's going to be a okay. ma- that's going to be a massive gate. That's I mean, fair. I'll tell you this, I, and I don't mind saying this. In 2020, when LSU was set to host Bama and Texas for the return trip, and yeah. the, you know the the Bama game ended up being like 25 percent capacity or whatever it was, and LSU was terrible, and then in the Texas game got washed. They were expecting to net LSU was expecting to net 10 and 11 million dollars respectively in the Alabama and Texas games. N- normal home game. You're netting roughly half of that. Yeah. Maybe maybe a bit more than half, depending on the opponent and how what the capacity may be, and obviously how long people stay in concessions and all as they project. So you're not gonna it, like they would expect something along those lines, bringing UCLA to Baton Rouge. They're they're not gonna punt that game. They're, they're just not. So um, what I will be interested to see is how that shapes up for 2024. You're gonna look at USC on September 1st, Rice. A week later, six days later in Baton Rouge, an SEC game, whoever that may be, then UCLA, then South Alabama. So you get a breather. You're gonna play five September games. How about that? Just spoke to Verge Osbury. Thanks to Verge. He called me there in the break. So I appreciate the clarification. Okay. If you're just joining us, Everett, LSU uh it was announced today is gonna play Southern Cal in that season opener in Vegas for 2024. Um it was announced today, obviously, there's no... Uh, ESPN now has, in 2024, will have the whole SEC contract. So they didn't have to wait on pecking order, things like that. So 
We know LSU-USC is going to be on September the 1st. There were three other non-conference games scheduled. I say were because, as Paulie pointed out, the Rice game has been moved to a future year. So right now, for 2024, LSU has three non-conference football games on the schedule. Southern Cal, September the 1st in Las Vegas. The UCLA game, which is the fourth playing date. I believe, did we say it was the 21st? Can, well, I have it right here. My, my apologies. Uh, yes, September 21st is UCLA. That's locked in. He was very clear. UC, that UCLA game is not moving. I, I assumed be, uh, for a lot of reasons, but that's a huge... It's just a massive thing when you get that game in Baton Rouge, right? I mean, you sign these deals, you're willing to go play the game on the road to get the return game because of the, the financial payout of the home game. So USC and, and UCLA are locked in. South Alabama is the other non-conference game. However, the date of that game is still TBD. They can essentially, my understanding is LSU can kind of maneuver that game wherever they want it on the schedule. It would make the most sense. This is me opining, by the way, because this is not set. Uh, Verge said like the, they haven't decided where they're going to put the South Alabama game. But it would make the most sense, wouldn't it, that if you're going to go play USC on a Sunday in Las Vegas, you're traveling home Monday, you know, off day Tuesday, and you start preparation Wednesday. You prepare Wednesday, Thursday, a walkthrough Friday, and you're playing on Saturday. You don't want that to be against an SEC opponent, right? So your only other option would be to put the South Alabama game there. The other thing that you got to consider, which I, I hadn't thought and Verge just mentioned it to me, was you also don't know what the SEC if in a given year, in this year, you're going to play five home games or five road games, if they go to nine, which hasn't been determined. So it could be a year where LSU has five road games. And if you have five road games in 2024, and you're already playing USC and Vegas, then half of your schedule is a road game. So they're trying to... Can you imagine if LSU ended up playing at USC in Vegas against USC on a Sunday, and then six days later was playing a road SEC game. So <laughs> there's there's a lot of balls in the air to juggle. Um, and and we don't even know yet if the SEC is going to lock in a a uh, a nine-game schedule and how that, that rotation is going to work. But what we know for certain, USC su Sunday, September the 1st, UCLA Saturday, September the 14th in 2024. We know that for sure. And the only other non-conference game that will be on the schedule for that year is the home game against South Alabama, date TBD, and we see what else the rest of the SEC schedule. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.